Today, I'm going to show you how to get your hands on the Executioner's Hood, Axe, and Sword. Let's do this. So we're going to head right over here next to Death Whisper Ruins. Now, there is an entrance just to the right of Death Whisper Ruins, but I want to show you the other entrance, and the reason being is because this entrance is the actual location. So if you don't have this location on your map, you want to go in this way, and you'll get that. Now, there are a ton of spiders in here. There's also iron and brimstone, and that is uh, this is one of the locations that I highlighted in my locations for brimstone video. If you haven't seen that, I will link that somewhere in the description and probably on the screen so you can get to that. What I want to say about coming in here is that it is super easy to get overwhelmed. You have a lot of spiders to deal with, and then you also have a lot of skeletons. So, best bet is to either take it slow, take it easy, bring a thrall with you, bring a friend. You definitely want something going on uh, on your side. So, you will see that I get absolutely mauled here by all these skeletons as they come out to converge on myself and my thrall now why do you want the executioner's stuff basically i'll run you through it the executioner's hood is a heavy piece of armor it gives you 192 armor points the weapons are what i'm really here for i love these weapons and i am actually using the executioner's axe right here in the video the reason why i love these weapons is one it's an all-around uh, good axe but in addition to that, it's got a legendary feature. And that legendary feature is that once you've done enough damage to an enemy, it will kill them in a single swing. Now, the amount of damage that you have to do to the enemy is take them down to 5% of their health. Now, you may be thinking 5% is, you know, what's the big deal? When you're farming uh, boss monsters around the world where most of them have 24,000 hit points, 5% is a little over 1,200 hit points. So that's a lot of swings that you do not have to take in order to kill these enemies. Something else that I want to bring up about the Executioner's Brute who drops the weapons is that he can drop multiple weapons. That was pointed out to me in a video I did about Misha's Bite Daggers where I stated that she could drop multiple daggers at the same time. Technicolor Fool pointed out that this enemy will also drop multiple weapons, and he's absolutely right. So thank you for that. Now, you can see I was hitting my hitting the enemy with my torch, and I actually had applied the Seer potion to it, the potion that does damage or does poison damage to undead things. Uh, I did it by accident, and so I just used it in this video because what the heck, it was already on there. So here you see I switch over to my Executioner's Axe. We're going to give it a couple of swipes here, and boom, with a decent amount of health, he went down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what's up. And I'm out. Peace. As always, thank you for watching my videos. If you're not a Spartan already, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my content. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other content. And don't forget to whack the like button. Peace.